Hey, John and Mike, Brew-Dudes.com. So here we are tonight tasting our side-by-side -side comparison of my Falconer's Flight IPA. Um, this is where what we did is we're focusing on how does water chemistry, specifically calcium and sulfate, affect your perception of bitterness, flavor, and aroma, and something that's super hoppy. So remember that our base water is really high in sodium chloride and really low in calcium sulfate. So what I try to do with these beers is uh, I added enough gypsum to one batch in the boil, not in the mash, just in the boil, to see if, um, and bring that up to, to match the PPMs of my sodium chloride, so about 200, 250 PPMs of calcium and sulfate um, in just the boil, not worrying about my mash, because my mash chemistry is fine. I have checked pH on occasion, but we'll talk about that maybe in the future. But the real goal of this beer side by side is flavor, aroma, and perceived bitterness between the two beers. So Whatever you think, it's wrong. Yeah? Yeah, well, I, I sniffed this. This is the one that does not have a gypsum uh, addition to it, and the aroma on this one's a lot stronger than the other one. I don't, I don't, maybe that's just me. And I should clarify, too. I mean, this is, I brewed 12-gallon batch, and um, so the mash is the same. It's one big yep. wort, and it went into two boil kettles. Um, the only thing that's really different between them time-wise is that, you know, I have to stagger my boiling start time because I've only got one chiller, mm -hmm. okay? But they both fermented in the same fridge. They both, they both got one package of US05. They both got the same amount of O2 that I blasted in there and the same uh, fermentation temperature cycle. So this is as well-controlled as I think I can nope, get. No, I think you did a great job in terms of... You know, you are a biochemist, so you I should, do my best. I should be good at doing some experiments at home. So let's talk about uh, first of all. Let's just talk about how they look. Okay. First of all, right? All right. Well, to me, this one is darker. This, this one has, is darker for some reason. The, this is the gypsum in it. But to be darker. fair, is that, to be fair from, a, from a, a, a a standpoint of color. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they're both super cloudy. And the reason being is after I got them in the fermenter, I realized I never added Werflock to the boil. Okay. Irish moss, whatever. So they're super cloudy because of that. If you remember the Falconist Flight IPA made many, many months ago, yep. that beer was crystal clear. But I did gelatinize that one right. to help drop it. But it came out of the fermenter clearer than this. Yeah. So it might be that there's more sediment in the gypsum one right now, giving it the perception of, of darkness. So I, yep. I wouldn't want to pass judgment on its color per se. I'm not passing any judgment. Oh, I, that's great. Because okay. we shouldn't judge. We shouldn't yeah. judge. Um, and, but, but it could be darker. I would, I'm going to have to do some research into whether or not gypsum, casting sulfite, might Darkened enhance is. color formation. Enhance, but let's, let's, make let's put that over there for okay, now. We'll okay, we'll leave that over there. So aroma-wise, I'm with you. I think that this one, the non-gypsum one, is a little more yep. exciting. <laughs> Because I still, I, mean, I don't know about you, but the aroma of Falconer's Flight, the blend, it's seven hops. Yep, yeah. um, it's oh, it's wonderful aroma still, as far as, I I mean, I, I love this hop blend. Yeah. Um, but this one does have a little bit more brightness, sweeter tones to it almost, right? This, there's a little bit of depth of aroma there. Right. But this one is, bitter, is more bitter. Okay, let me taste it. Okay. I just think so. I think that you can tell... That there is a oh I should I shouldn't have told you which was which that yeah there you go then then I would have decided but I've been thinking about this for wrong. weeks yeah. and I forgot to tell, I forgot to do it blind Good planning Michael I still think that yeah that is uh, it's more bitter and actually has a has a better flavor this might on the nose be a little brighter. And, mm. uh, but mm. this, this one has a more complex okay, pop Okay, this taste. one, the gypsum, the plus gypsum, yep. has a, a lingering bitterness mm -hmm. that hangs in there a little yeah. bit longer. Yeah. And I would say that the bitterness is a little, that the lingering quality is a little bit more dank. In, in, in true hop terminology, it's a little bit more... Funky? Sticky on the tongue. Sticky, okay. It's a little bit more resiny. Yeah, resin. Yeah, I that's eat, the thing you know, so it's right a little bit more resiny on the tongue in the aftertaste. My first perception of bitterness in both beers is fairly close. I I think it's cutting hair, <laughs> splitting hairs. Really? 
Mm. I think there's a definite difference. I think it's enough. That's percent. why if we did it blind, maybe you wouldn't think so. Of I, course, it's hard to say, but I, I really do think that's. A what lot do you think good. about? Can you focus on the flavor differences? Um, I think again, I think that's a good descriptor of the the resiny of the hops. This it is it's more prevalent uh, prevalent in the uh, the uh, gypsum edition brew. Yep. Rather than that, again, like I'll right off the bat when I said you know. When I said you're wrong, the uh, the aroma on this it also has that kind of um, there's like a yeast um, character that I'm smelling too. What uh, was the strain they use? Uso five American ale yeast. Okay. Um, yeah, th that's what I'm that's what I'm smelling. It's kind of that uh, nice uh, sort of uh, um, I don't know what, what you it's like a softness that I, I get from that yeast strain that uh, that whatever the same yeast strain that that, that Chico strain. Yep. 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 Um, I can smell that in, in the non gypsum one, but uh, here, even though it, it's not as bright, there's definitely like a ha presence, but it is that sort of stronger, like later in the boil, I'm sorry, the earlier in the boil um, bitterness. I smell that in this one a lot more. There's definitely a, a more of a raw hoppiness yeah. in this, this aroma, yeah. like a real like pellet aroma, where this one has got some of the more delicate notes that you get from the whole of hops. the yeah, yeah. well yeah just but it, I think this one's just got more delicate notes of yeah. like the a little bit of the tropical fruit character yeah. the estuary nice type of stuff that you're getting out of the hops right where this one I can definitely almost smell the hops it's themselves like, oh, boom. yeah it's like boom <laughs> um so I don't know well wh which one do you like better I guess I actually prefer the one that with the addition Great. I like this one better. <laughs> I, mean, I really do. I really do because um, um, I don't know. I just I like because the problem for me with with beers I don't like that resiny lingering thing in my mm. hoppy beers. What okay. I like is to see the hops scream out to me in flavor and aroma. You know, um, I would almost like to brew this beer with. I don't care what water chemistry, but I'd love to just brew this beer with a huge charge of Falconer's Flight at like five minutes. Like a hot burst it, yep. boom, yep. no bittering charge. Just get whatever bitterness you get out of it, All right. which is a popular technique. A lot of people do it, yep. hot bursting at like 10 minutes. Um, yep. You just get like an aroma flavor bomb and not have any of that on yep. your teeth yep. enamel type but of thing. Again, yeah, but I mean, I've had lots of yep. that like uh, back of the mouth, you know, citrusy, I can't believe I'm feeling it in my ears kind of uh, taste. Yeah, I don't like it's, that. It's not, I know you don't like it, but it's not here. I'm no, saying. it isn't. It's still yeah. pretty mellow. Yeah. And you know what? So that's something I want to point out too, right? Is that <laughs> there's a third beer that's missing in this experiment, actually. Which is? Low sodium chloride water. Okay. Because I think what's happening here, for me, there's a perception of bitterness that's more pronounced in the gypsum, mm -hmm. but it's I don't really think that it's crisper or cleaner bitterness that you hear about people talk about. And I think the reason for that is I ha I brought my calcium sulfate levels up to match my sodium chloride levels, but if you look at water profiles for like your really heavy IPAs like your Pliny and your Heady Topper and things like that, and you just think about Palmer's um, work on water chemistry and, and what people say about the amount of, it's not so much the amount of uh, gypsum you use, yeah. it's the balance between sulfate and chlorides. Yeah. And because we have high chlorides, I got us up to a one to one ratio. And hoppy beers really should be more two to one, three yeah. to one, yeah. sulfate to chloride. Yeah. And so here, to me, I really perceive them as being much closer then they probably would be if we dropped some of the chloride out of the water by maybe using some distilled water like you did on the uh, Pilsner. Yeah. Right? Um, so that's yet another kind of beer that's not in this example is is what does sulfate itself, calcium sulfate, with a lower chloride. Um, so I guess the, the take home message here, right? Yeah. For brewers in our area up here in the Northeast, you've got really high sodium chloride and really low everything else. You can, att you can match your um, sulfate and calcium to your sodium chloride, but it's difficult to go above that because you'd be getting into ranges of like 400 right. ppm, which is just, just too much. It'll probably be salty, it might be too minerally. Um, so the take home message there is you can probably get close to enhancing hop characteristics with gypsum, but you're still struggling. We're still struggling with the sodium chloride in, in, in flavor and aroma. Right. Uh, and bitterness. So is the message we should be using distilled water and just 
mess with the chemistry through brewing salts or what? Yeah, it's almost like you do. You sh maybe you should or approach. Beers. I mean, and let's keep in mind, we're not even talking about mash chemistry yet, no, right? So no. this is just flavor chemistry, if yeah, you will, right? Yeah. So um, it almost does seem like you should start with base water and build it from there. You know, uh, and for the hoppier styles, some people, styles, do, that. Some people yeah. do that. Some people yeah. do that. You I know? think I might have to for the hoppier styles for sure. Yeah, but I'm just not getting what I think it should be. You know? That crispness. Yeah. That right, yeah. right, right, right. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the Falcon's Play experiment. Our uh, first foray into well, second I guess, uh, foray into water chemistry. Um, not sure if we've. We, we, we've learned a little bit more, but uh, I think there's still more learning to do. Yeah, I think we've developed a lot of opinions and thoughts uh, when we talk kind of uh, amongst ourselves off camera and stuff about it. Um, it's a huge thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's a huge thing to get into. If, um, if people have specific questions or ideas or things they want to talk about, you should leave comments on the post uh, about water chemistry, any of our water chemistry posts. Um, we should you know, try to open the debate a little bit more. Um, you know, we, we haven't even touched mash chemistry, but, you know, we would get into that at some point. Um, that's a much more complicated topic to get into, I, that's, which is why we kind of isolated this. Yeah. Just to talk about flavor and aroma, and is it worth it? I mean, in this experiment, I feel the beers are pretty close, and I don't, I don't necessarily feel a need to, uh, but, to do too much. But, but the differences are there. I think that's, you know, it depends on what you really want. Sure. Do you want something that's a little more brighter, or do you are a little more dankier, as you put it? So. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, as We'll learn more as we go. Yeah, that's home brewing. brewing. It's home brewing, man. <laughs> exactly. More experiments fun to stuff. come. So stick with us. We'll we'll try to figure this out. For John and Mike, brew on. Cheers.